Hey, brand builder. My name is Mash Bonigala. I'm a brand strategist. Right. In a lot of my videos, I talk about niching down. Right. So, in terms of your audience, in terms of your business, I always advocate niching down. That is focusing on a specific set of audience and providing a service for that specific set. Now, the reason I say niching is good, um, you know, well, before I get into the reason why niching is good, let's talk about why people don't actually um, niche down. The biggest reason is fear. A lot of business owners feel that if they choose a specific set of audience and exclude others, they're going to lose money, right? They're going to lose sales. And so that leads to the philosophy of trying to target everyone. So an average business owner, an average entrepreneur, if you ask them straight up, who's your target audience? Typically, uh, yes, they may have a specific, uh, depends on the product or service. Well, let's say if it's fishing and you know, if they're selling fishing rods, uh, of course, um, the market segment would be people who want to fish, right? Who uh, have fishing as a hobby. But then after that, that's it. It's very generic. So all the people in the world or in their geographic area or wherever they're servicing um, who want to fish and who want to buy fishing rods. That's it. Now, at the face of it, it might seem like, yeah, what's wrong with that? Right. You might say, Mash, what's wrong with targeting everyone who wants to buy a fishing rod? There's nothing wrong with that. So niching down is not about it's not you need to niche down, not because it's wrong to target everyone in a generic sense. No, niching down is because when you target a specific segment of a broader kind of audience, then it becomes easy to reach out to them. It becomes easy to create that communication and it's easy to create that emotional connection. For example, if you take the same fishing analogy, so your generic kind of target audience is anyone who is interested in fishing. They have, it's a hobby. They want to buy fishing rod, rods or fishing gear, right? Fishing tackle. Now, typically you might say, OK, uh, maybe I will target only men of a certain age. So men um, 30 to 35, 30 to 45, 40, whatever in that age range that narrows it down as soon as you do that what's happening so you're ex excluding women um kids maybe um and uh also age range you're excluding let's say younger men or older men whatever it, whatever the case may be yeah this is just a rough example then what happens is when you are creating the message first of all when you're trying to reach out you would find it easier to find people who are 30 to 34 men who are 30 uh, 35 to 55 who are interested in fishing okay number one so it's easier to to identify where such men hang out and these could be forums uh these could be fishing gear uh, fishing related forums uh channels all those places secondly now that you excluded let's say women uh, by the way, I got nothing against uh, women who are interested in fishing, right? This is a very uh, uh, a broad example, right? I'm just trying to create that niching. And I chose fishing because fishing is on my mind today. Um, so now that you've excluded women uh, and also younger men, when you're creating that message, you will have better options in terms of choosing the campaign, that message campaign. It could be aggressive. It could be very, very relatable. You could write phrases. You could create advertising. If you, you could create content that is very specific to that um, audience. Then what happens is when those audience come upon your brand, your message, your content, your headlines, your, your advertising, whatever it is, uh, you, you may create videos, they immediately feel like you're talking to them. And when they do that, they're more likely to come into your funnel. They're more likely to get into your sales funnel. They're more likely to convert into sales. Okay. Um, 
so yeah, I mean, fishing, maybe, you know, bad example. Uh, but whatever your industry is, if you niche down, you are actually moving away from um, the general kind of com competition because your competitors might be targeting everyone who wants a fishing rod or who wants to buy fishing gear, right? As soon as you sort of move away and choose a very specific set, like if it were up to me, if, I, if it was my brand, I would probably say something like this. My brand targets professional men who are um, either entrepreneurs or they run businesses. They love fishing, of course. They are uh, in the C-level category, so C-suite. So these guys are like CEOs, maybe. Uh, they're, they're, they're in the management of businesses. They're very busy. Um, and they make more than 100000 a year. This could be my specific niche. And I say, I only serve this audience. My, um, my brand, my messaging, everything is targeted towards that. Why? Because then I can connect directly. I can go on LinkedIn, for example, right? And I could do a search. I could find CEOs who talk about phishing, who, who mention phishing uh, in, their, in their posts or in their bios. And bim, you know, you got, you got an easy access to the CEOs who, well, okay, who make 100,000, that's hard to identify on LinkedIn just through a search, but a little bit of manual digging and you can identify. And you can then create, you can, so you can create a list of those people on LinkedIn, or you could go to Twitter, uh, you know, CEOs who are talking about fishing, uh, who are, uh, you know, are, are excited about phishing or you could go to groups it could be on Facebook groups or LinkedIn groups um, and you could find uh, groups that target similar kind of demographic right so first step identifying where your audience hangs out becomes easier than let's say everybody who is interested in phishing yes okay there's another school of thought where um, someone might say Actually, if it is anyone who is interested in fishing, uh, then it's, isn't it easier? No, it is not. Because then you are, you're going to be, unless of course you have a lot of money for marketing, right? If you have a lot of money, resources for marketing, then yes, that's what the big brands do. That's why the big brands mass market. Whereas small businesses, right? If you have limited resources, you have a limited budget for your marketing you are better off with niching rather than trying to target everyone because your 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 um, marketing will get lost in the sea of this general kind of um, demographics and uh, they're being bombarded with signals and, and noise by all kinds of brands but i think when you look at your specific niche this particular CEOs who are interested in fishing, who are very, very busy, they make $100,000 a year. And you could even, you know, dig down even further, you could say in the financial sector. So your brand targets CEOs in the financial sector, CEOs or entrepreneurs in the financial sector who are making $100,000 or more a year and are super busy, but love fishing as a hobby on the weekends or, you know, on, you know when they, when they take the time off you can even dig it deeper but you get the idea right so the reason is very simple uh, you know I went around in circles but the reason is very simple if you niche down if you target specifically um, a certain kind of population and exclude the others number one it becomes easy to reach out to this audience Number two, it becomes easy to create messaging that can connect with that audience. And number three, you become a specialist. So you're not competing with um, others within that same sector, selling fishing rods and fishing tackle or whatever you are selling, right? So these are the three um, reasons why you need to niche down. So today, sit down, look at your audience, look at whom you are targeting okay and unlearn 
overcome that fear that if you niche down to this specific uh, set, you're going to lose everybody else. No, you're not going to get everybody else unless you have a lot of money for marketing. So as it is, you're not getting everybody. If you're, if you're getting everybody, you wouldn't be listening to this video, right? <laughs> um, you're not getting everybody. So niche down, niche down, niche down. All right. If you have any questions about this niching, just, you know, hit me up on Twitter or ask me on LinkedIn. Follow me on LinkedIn. Ask me on LinkedIn or leave a comment below uh, if you're confused about uh, the concept of niching and also how to niche, right? Just leave a comment below. Now, if you have not subscribed to this channel already, please do so right now because I'm going to be posting more videos on this type of content. Um, and then hit the bell icon so that when my next video comes out, you're notified. All right. So till we speak again, take care and prosper.